Thanks, Carlos. I, I actually chose this uh, cocktail because of the qualities and uh, match the uh, qualities of the of the drink to my subject or to my patient because she does have a very huge gun and it's very volatile when agitated. Anyway, we, we actually, the way I do it when we, when we mix the types of lenses is really, I start with the MF15 because I really prioritize distance vision. Um, the visual notes for the combination that I like uh, to, to have in most of my patients is really to combine the MF15 with the MF30 just in case uh, the patient really wants more reading vision and we want to extend the, the range, the refractive range or the capabilities of the patient, not only for distance, which is the first priority, but also to give them more reading if they want to. So going to the case, seven years ago, I said 62 year old female actively practicing as a head and neck surgeon uh, and ENT, really thought of having spectacle-free vision. Uh, I saw her and she had early cataracts. She was far-sighted and uh, she just really, really wanted to get rid of her glasses. And even if I told her, no, you, you might want to wait a little bit more uh, before deciding. She just wanted to get rid of her glasses because she's been wearing glasses she's, since she was 10 years old. And it was bothersome for her, frequently misplaced. Uh, and she had only mild ocular surface disease, which I was treating uh, with uh, topical uh, lubricants. She had no dysphotopsias, which is a plus, not overly sensitive to glare, which is another thing I regularly ask about my patients when I, when I consider uh, a uh, press biopic type of lens. But fortunately, with both Lentis and MF30, the dysphotopias are really less compared to the other press biopic cor correcting lenses. So we did the first eye, uh, the dominant eye, where I usually place the MF15, uh, which I find I, I've been using this for maybe 15 years already. And uh, after the first eye with the MF15, she said, okay, I'm, I'm very happy with the distance because I was farsighted and, I, and now I can see well for distance without glasses, but uh, can you give me a little bit more reading? And that's when I decided to, to do the second eye and implant the MF, M plus X MF30. And one day after, she had 2025 vision and Jager 1. She was very happy. Uh, the the autorefractor said it was a minus 1.5, but you have, to, you have to realize that sometimes the autorefractor will be erroneous because it may land on the transition zone of the MF15. But for her to have 2025 vision, uncorrected for distance was pretty good. So she's probably closer to about a minus 0.75 actual. One month later, after the second eye, you, you can see the individual refractive, uh, the visual acuity of both eyes, 2020 on the comfort eye, and uh, 2020 minus two on, on the MF30 eye. So it's pretty good. And uh, with both eyes, she was really happy with 2020 vision, Jager 1 and Jager 2. Uh, an intermediate and for reading. So this was a patient that <clears throat> really would be an ideal, an ideal uh, person to really have this mix and match sort of thing. Blended vision is what we call it nowadays. She had no dysphotopsias because of the refractive, uh, zonal refractive character of the of both lenses. And you have a seamless transition. One thing I've noticed in in patients with this combination of uh, zonal refractive lenses is they really have a seamless uh, range of vision from distance to to near and it's it's very easy for them to really just go from one distance to the next one as far as far to near um, so uh, this patient was my wife and you can imagine the risk that i took because you see this person every day, and if, if she's not happy, you're definitely not going to be happy. Thank you very much. Thank you. She was quite easy to decide on what which lens to use. 
She was uh, hyperopic with very small astigmatism. So the combination actually became more evident after the first time because I always choose uh, the M MF15 for the first time because I prioritize distance vision and to give her a little intermediate. But after the surgery, she said, uh, can I have a little bit more reading? And that's what made me decide uh, to use the MF30 because I knew from very uh, a big experience with previous patients that patients don't really have problems with glare and halos and dysphotopsias with those types of lenses, especially in darkly pigmented uh, iridis. Definitely, definitely spectacle-free vision without all the problems of glare and halos. And I'm expecting myself to have that surgery done soon. It's quite standard the way I talk to patients. I always tell them, okay, uh, we're going to give you a little intermediate vision, but we're going to prioritize giving you the best possible distance vision. And that's why I always start out with the MF15. And depending on their less than one week post-op vision, then we decide whether uh, we put in the same MF15 or a higher power reading Fortunately for us, we have a, a myriad of choices now. We can really customize for whatever the patient's needs are. And very important is you, you do take time to find out what the patient wants and of course, manage expectations. And you'll, you'll have a happy patient and a happy doctor. In my case, a happy wife. My life is very happy as well. <laughs>